Hey everyone, it's Friday, May 21st. The time right now is 5.49 p.m. and the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. And that guy should not be on the sidewalk on his bike. I'm currently walking south along Kiel Street. And there's a look at Kiel Station. And you can hear the rumble of the subway train pulling into the station just up above there. And the plan for this one is to head east along Bloor Street West, which is the first street to the south here. And I'll head on over to Dundas Street. And then I'll circle back along a laneway that runs just north of Bloor Street here. It's got a lot of interesting street art and graffiti on it. And that includes the somewhat famous Kiel Wall that is on the backside of a building that's been sold to a developer. And they're hoping to redevelop the property, which will mean the end of that street art wall. And there's a look towards High Park. Just south of Bloor Street. Keel ends and Parkside Drive begins. So the neighborhood just to the north of here is known as West Bend. And to the south of Bloor is Roncesvilles. Sounds like an ambulance is making its way over. There's the elevated subway tunnel. So the Bloor Street portion of this walk will be relatively short, just the length of one subway stop. And this laneway or alley I'm heading to is something I've always seen out the window of the subway train. But I haven't really explored it yet. I've been to the part just behind the building here where the Kiel Wall is. That was at the end of a live stream, but I haven't ventured further east. And here's the property that's been sold to a developer, I think for just over $29 million. That developer is Matami. They're looking to build a 12 or 13 story rental building on the property. This used to be a Midas auto garage. So what happened was about 30 years ago, they allowed some kids to put up some street art and murals on the backside of the building, as long as they incorporated the logo for Midas. And it's been retouched and redone several times over the last 30 years.
and now it might be facing its demise. I just figured since I'm in the area, I might as well catch part of the Bloor Street streetscape. Hello? <laughs> Someone just recognized me. That is happening somewhat often these days. So I'll be walking along the backside of these buildings here. Probably in about five minutes or so. Here's a trio of bike cops. So coming up is Dundas Street West. Although for this part it runs north to south. It will turn into Roncesville's Avenue if you keep heading south. And Dundas itself will turn to the east, just a few blocks south of here. And I've always wondered what's going to become of this building here. The last time I tried to look it up, I couldn't find anything. There's a look, southbound Dundas. And a GO train rolling in. So just to the north of here, on the east side is the Junction Triangle neighborhood. That's also just east of here. And to the west and north of here is the Junction neighborhood. And here is Dundas West Station. There's some streetcars that are destined for Dundas. Although I think to the east of that route, along with the King Street cars, they end up stopping and you'll have to board a bus. And this is the start of the alley I was talking about that's full of graffiti and street art. 
It is not the Graffiti Alley that is located just south of Queen Street West. However, it is a Graffiti Alley of sorts. I think it's worth exploring. So again, this is the backside of the buildings that face Bloor Street West. There's some neat art. And I don't think you can see this part from the subway, but it does emerge just a little bit to the west of here, outside of the tunnel, and you can see all the street art. I don't know if I'm on private property or not, but... That was kind of neat. Oh, there's some more. There goes. A westbound subway train. That was an eastbound train diving into the tunnel towards Dundas West Station. So it's really quite close to Keel Station. There's those three cops on bikes. So now we hit the stretch that you can see from the subway train if you look out to the south. Shevchenko Museum.
Those would be the two subway tunnels over there. So it looks like if they want, they can just pull extra trains over to the side here and use Kiel as a turnaround station. This art here is rather familiar, I think. Whoever the artist is has also put up some of their handiwork in Graffiti Alley. Bike has sure seen better days. Doesn't even look like it's locked up. And there's Bloor Street, just to the south of here, and here's the Keel Wall. As another train rips past. So, I've pretty much gone full circle now. And this is the part... that at least some people in the city have undertaken some efforts to try to save. There's the Midas logo. I think all the commercial tenants had to leave in either February or March, and it's been vacant since. Which would lead you to believe that the developer who bought it has fairly imminent plans. It might be worth coming or logging into Google Street View and changing the dates and you can go back sometimes well over 10 years and see what this used to look like as it's sort of an ever evolving thing as the art starts to fade new art seems to pop up in its place you have to wonder if there's going to be any more now i like it i think it's unique it's fairly tastefully done. And here's an entrance to Keel Station. I have never explored back here before. So let's see if I can find my way back over to Kiel Street.
what I think. This is Indian Grove. So this would be the West Bend neighborhood. There's a park just to the north of here called Lithuania Park. So that might be a good spot to try to go see and maybe I'll end this video there. This is all just unplanned at this point. Not that I really put much planning <laughs> to these videos. Seems to be a lot of homes for sale around here. This is definitely older housing stock, probably around a hundred years. And this is the kind of neighborhood they don't really make anymore. These are some pretty big walk-ups. There's a basketball net. Man, look at these things. Church of St. Martin's in the Fields. This Susan lady sure sells a lot of homes. So this is Glen Lake Boulevard. That would be Keel Street just up ahead. Look into the church property. And the laneway. So that, I think, is the Keel Street Public School. And this would be Lithuania Park, if I'm not mistaken. There's a 
941 Kiel bus and the 941 Express. So let's go swing through the park. As of tomorrow, a lot of outdoor recreation is once again allowed in the province of Ontario. And they have the splash pads running in this park. This is the first time I've seen that this year. Looks like there's a baseball field just up this hill. There's Mountain View Avenue. So this seems like a good spot to end the stream. I've got a beverage and a snack in my, or a video, <laughs> not the stream, but I've got a beverage and a snack in my bag. I'm thinking about doing a live stream right after this. So I hope you enjoyed this walk along Bloor Street and then down a neat alleyway full of graffiti and street art and then through West Bend a bit up to Lithuania Park. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel. There's a link to Patreon membership in the description and you can also check out YouTube channel membership on my YouTube page. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.